My name is Makerman. I'm a student of Inzon University doing basic medical. When I studied basic medical, I came to understand that in studying medicine, prevention is better than cure. And it is when I have started to realize that when we want to prevent the diseases, we must keep good hygiene. But during the global pandemic of coronavirus, I have decided to make soap so that I can give it to my community and will buy it to keep good hygiene. We have this initiative called Good Neighbor and we are seven in number. This soap after we have made it, we can take it and sell it to the community at a reduced price so that the members of the community will be able to afford it. To be able to set up this initiative so that we can reach more people, we have included the hand sanitizers and this is called multi-purpose soap and the hand wash. For this initiative to be set up, we will be able to raise at least labor and we can buy some bottles like this at least to be able to get uh, a startup capital we can get around just for a startup we can get around two thousand dollars that is two hundred thousand shillings to, for the startup the, uh, for this for one jerry can like this 20 liters we are able to buy chemicals which cost 1,500 shillings from Nairobi to be able to make hand sanitizer and for multi-purpose soap we have to buy full chemical that can cost 1,000 shillings to be able to get a complete set that can make 20 20 liters this initiative the people who are with us in this, the seven of them, are all the youth from the community and they are determined to contribute in, a way, in one way or the other in fighting COVID-19. I hope we will be able to do something good for our community. My message to the refugee community is that as we continue to fight COVID-19, it is very important for everybody to know that uh, the people need to know that hand watching has been proven by WHO and it is something people need to practice. We will be able to protect ourselves, our family and friends. I would like everybody to be very vigilant knowing that in Takuma right now we have COVID-19 already confirmed. And it is a responsibility of everybody to be able to take charge. I have been motivated by the challenges that we have, that is uh, the disease that has come and does not have a cure or even a vaccine. The world is struggling and as a member of the community and a person who have been empowered by the Inzun University in Kakuma, when I was doing my basic medical, which I'm still doing right now, it has in, encouraged me that I should contribute to the community in a small way. Whatever I can, I can do to help people and to help myself. In, in Kakuma refugee camp, people do not have money. People have challenges with uh, money. Many people are not working, even the school leavers. The reason as to why I sell this product very, very low is that People do not have money and we would like to sustain the initiative to run. That's why we sell it at a cheaper price. If we can sustain it to be able to buy more chemicals, there is no need to sell it at a very high price whereby nobody will buy and nobody will benefit. Since the soap is bought most frequently, the little money that you get 
from many people can make a lot of profit and there's no need to sell at a higher price.